All right, everybody. Well, this is the final video in the final unit in the final month of this 2021 weird school year. What we are doing is we are opening up our Photo P Tiny Planet choice files and bringing them in, spot editing them, and then saving a PSD and a JPEG. So for starters, when you open up PhotoP, you'll go open up from computer. You will go to your files and you will choose the file that you need. And when you open it, hopefully you have something with a bit of sky. Now, the problems that I see that I think just everybody is going to have all right, it is about this central line right here. It's the central line. And depending on your choices, if you end up with this building and you don't want to move back and forth and figure out a way to make this as clean as possible, we'll just say for some of this, we're going to leave it as it is. And let's just worry about this central line for now. I think over the next week or two, Mr. Ocho and I can make another video about making better editing, really digging deep into this. But I'm under the impression people just want to know how to use the tool. So the tool that was brought up in the module is the Spot Healing Brush Tool. You have a lot of choices. We are doing the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Okay. You'll notice here I have a very tiny circle. I come up to the brushes. I'm going to make it massive. And I'm going to bring the hardness down. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a necessary strategy as to, as to what, uh, what works. You'll notice here this, this spot healing is pretty big. I'm going to go fairly small. I now have... <coughs> You'll see the red is where it is marked. I am now waiting. I am moving my mouse, actually, but the photo P took its time. And you'll notice right here that it's gone. There is no line. And I guess technically that's it, everybody. Uh, for your, some of your Chromebooks and some of... <coughs> this, is, this is a desktop meant for doing some fairly powerful processing. So that's why it took fair, you know, a fairly short amount of time. You should give it a second or two. Um, if you have a lot of things like this grass right here, let's give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. All right. Took care of that as well. And by golly, people, that's just a weird looking planet. We're going to let it go. I think that's outstanding. What did I do? I did the spot healing brush. I brushed along the line. I used a soft brush. You know, uh, let me see. If you look right here, you'll notice that this is soft and this is hard. Right? Choose your size. It sort of, it kind of depends on what you're doing. But if you have a lot of sky and a lot of grass, that's how easy it could be. Okay? That's why we were telling you to have a lot of sky in your photos. That it is worth your time to go take that picture in that it took that long, <laughs> it's done. File, export, save as JPEG, save. Um, I'm going to call this my first name, last name, tiny planet. I'm number, this is the fifth one I've done. Save. Okay. File, save as PSD. Um, this was my, this is the PSD for Tiny Planet 5 for me. You just need first name, last name, Tiny Planet. Uh, <laughs> JPEG, save. Let me, let me add a little extent to that. Let's call this the final. I'm silly. First name, last name, Tiny Planet, final. Same with the PSD.